know I'm not a bad mum. I know that I only did what I knew. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite blogger, Sophie Brown. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. I'm unfortunately guilty of not being one of those very conscious parents and not appreciating my son for everything that he is. He is very different. He's very full on. He is really out there. He is very clever. He just does not goddamn stop even in his sleep like your son. And I don't know how to deal with that shit sometimes and I just lose it. And we were talking last night about how we speak to our son. And I know I'm not a bad mum. I know that I only did what I knew then. Yeah. How old's your son? <laughs> He's eight. Beautiful. Do you know the best thing about this scenario right now? What? Do you know when uh, a child's brain becomes fully developed? When they're about 10? No, 28. Oh, 20. Oh, thank God. I could fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. But here's what we need to understand as parents. Kids are loud. They're messy. They're all over the place. They're intense. And that's how kids are supposed to be. Kids aren't supposed to be well behaved. They're supposed to basically come into this world and flail their arms and find out where the boundaries are. That's what kids do. And our job as parents is to allow them to find those boundaries safely. And it's, sometimes it's hard because what kids do is they come into this world and they behave in ways that press our buttons because we see so much of ourselves you know, in those children. What our kids need more than anything else is they need to learn how to regulate. Most of you who don't know how to regulate is because your parents never demonstrated it to you. Mm -hmm. Because when a child is having a meltdown, what do most parents typically say? Stop it. Just stop it. For God's sake, stop it. Go to your room. I'm sick of hearing you carrying on. Whereas what a child needs in those moments is a nice, calm parent in the midst of a shitstorm is just to get down on one knee and grab them and bring them in and just hold them and say, it's going to be okay. Just breathe. Just breathe. A child can feel the quality of your presence. And if you're just being with a child, but you're not present with a child, they will literally behave in all sorts of abstract ways because all they want is to feel your presence. Because every time you get pissed off, they may not get the form of presence that they want, but they get the energy. They get the connection. It might be a fit of rage, it creates more pain, but there's a part of them that goes, oh, finally, I'm connected. We need to understand when a child is upset, they just need to be shown how to regulate. And you've got another 18, what have we got, 20 years to work it out. And he'll push every button on the oh, way, yeah, don't you does. worry. He goes, I'll keep pushing your mum. And I went, oh, fuck. Yeah. But that's their job. Their yeah. job is to make us strong, okay? Their job is to teach us. They're the greatest teachers you've ever had. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. One, two, three. Honestly, this is my legacy. And there would be no greater gesture that you can do than to hand this down to the next generation. Show your kids how to regulate and demonstrate to them what calm looks like in the midst of a storm. But I do think parents need to understand the responsibility that is involved with bringing up a child. You've got to ask yourself the question, you know, what kind of a world are we trying to create here? The more you work on your personal issues, the less chance you have of transferring it onto them yeah. you know, and them having to deal with it. Pass down wisdom, not wounds. The greatest opportunity our kids have is by learning through the best example that we can give them. Our species really is dependent right now on a new generation of thought leaders coming through who are healthy, who are happy, who are balanced, who can look at things in a more conscious way and make better decisions than some of the decisions we're making right now collectively. I look at my business, I look at everything else, and he's my greatest legacy. I don't see myself leaving behind money. I'm leaving behind this incredible human being that if I condition, support, train and coach properly, he's going to be able to create and affect 10 times the change that I have in my lifetime. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe and share. Bye.